Unit 8, Lesson 9, Interpreting the Mean as Fair Share. Number 1. A preschool teacher is rearranging four boxes of playing blocks so that each box contains an equal number of blocks. Currently, box 1 has 32 blocks, box 2 has 18 blocks, box 3 has 41 blocks, and box 4 has 9 blocks. Select all the ways he could make each box have the same number of blocks. I selected A and E. 32 plus 18 plus 41 plus 9 equals 100. And 100 blocks divided by 4 boxes equals 25 blocks inside each box. 32 minus 7 equals 25 blocks. 18 plus 7 equals 25 blocks. 41 minus 16 equals 25 blocks, and 9 plus 16 equals 25 blocks, so I selected E. Number 2. In a round of mini golf, Claire records the number of strokes it takes to hit the ball into the hole of each green. She said that if she redistributed the strokes on different greens, she could tell that her average number of strokes per hole is 3. Explain how Claire is correct. I've redistributed the strokes in order from 1 to 5. One time she made a hole in 1. Twice she took 2 strokes. Three times she took 3 strokes. Twice she took 4 strokes. And once she took 5 strokes. Now that I have them in order from 1 to 5, I can cancel out the 1 and the 5 because they're both 2 units away from 3. I can cancel out both the 2's and both the 4's because both of those are one unit away from 3. And then I can cancel out the 3 to the left of the middle and the 3 to the right of the middle because those are both equal to 3. And the number in the very middle is the average. 3 is the average. I can also add all these up and I get 27. And 27 divided by 9 holes equals a 3 shot average per hole. Number 3. Three sixth grade classes raised $25.50, $49.75, and $37.25 for their classroom libraries. They agreed to share the money raised equally. What is each class's equal share? Explain or show your reasoning. $25.50 plus $49.75 plus $37.25 equals $112.50. The total amount of money that all three classes raised was $112.50. To figure out the equal share for each class, we have to divide that by three. $112.50 divided by three classes. $112.50 divided by three equals $37.50. Each class gets $37.50. Number four. In her English class, Mai's teacher gives four quizzes, each worth five points. After three quizzes, she has the scores four, three, and four. What does she need to get on her last quiz to have a mean score of four? Explain or show your reasoning. On her last quiz, she needs to score a five in order to have a mean score of four. Because a score of 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 equals 16. And 16 total points divided by 4 quizzes equals 4, or a mean of 4. So once again, Mai would have to score 5 points on her final quiz in order to have a mean of 4. I'll use these tally marks to illustrate another way to find the mean. The blue tally marks on the left represent the five points that Mai needs to score on her last quiz. If I take one tally mark away from that group of five tally marks and move it over to the group of three tally marks, then each group will have four tally marks showing that the average or the mean is four. Number five. An earthworm farmer examined two containers of a certain species of earthworms so that he could learn about their lengths. He measured 25 earthworms in each container and recorded their lengths in millimeters. Here are the histograms of the lengths for each container. A. Which container tends to have longer worms than the other container? 
The length of the earthworms in container A range from 10 millimeters to 80 millimeters, so container A tends to have longer worms than container B. B. For which container would 15 millimeters be a reasonable description of a typical length of the worms in the container? Worms in container B have a typical length of 15 millimeters. C. If length is related to age, which container had the most young worms? If length is related to age, then container B would have more of the young worms because the majority of their worms are between 5 millimeters and 35 millimeters in length, compared to container A, where most of the lengths are between 30 millimeters and 70 millimeters. Number 6. Diego thinks that x equals 3 is a solution to the equation x squared equals 16. Do you agree? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, that's not true, so I don't agree with Diego, because I know that 4 squared, or 4 times 4, equals 16, and 3 squared, or 3 times 3, equals 9. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8, Lesson 9, Interpreting the Mean as Fair Share.